people, before we get into the video, just gonna let you know, this is like a dedicated video vlog of the stuff we have got for the baby so far. Well, some of the stuff. The main items, like the push chair, and I'll show you a couple of clothes. So if you're not feeling all the baby stuff, or you don't really wanna see the baby stuff, then carry on and skip to the next video or check out one of the other channels that we've got in the description below. But yeah, we wanna show you the things we have for the baby so far. So if you wanna see, keep watching. It's probably gonna be a good video about half an hour-ish because there's quite a lot of things that we actually have. But yeah, I'm gonna show you all what we've got. Hide oh, that in the background. Right, I'm gonna show you all that we've got now. So we've just had a delivery of the uh, push chair, the car chair, the safety base for in the car, and the like, uh, what's it called? Carry cart that goes on the push chair. So we are gonna open these out and have a look. Um, and see what they look like, put it together and then we're going to show you guys what it actually looks like all together and show you all the bits and bobs that we got. Before I open these boxes, we've oh, you got, exposed, you got you exposed eating eggs. I've been waiting for these boxes, don't mind the face because no makeup on, nothing, head, back, face cleaned, nothing. What's new? I'm a relaxing day. Um, and yes, what we noticing, I've got glasses on. Um, I always keep an extra spare packet of contact lenses and um, when we went away to Butlins I put them in the bag with me just in case I needed them um, and now I can't find them and the ones that I had in needed to be changed so I've got glasses in until new ones come so I just thought I'd let you guys fill you on that little bit of information I've been waiting for these to come for how long now? Well, I have, we have, about a month about a month yeah? No. Probably about six weeks. It's been about six yeah. weeks. Yeah, it's been about it's been about six six weeks since we um, we went and ordered these from the shop, and I actually scheduled it for round this time because I didn't want them to have them straight away. Because obviously, being quite early on in the pregnancy, I didn't want to have all this stuff in the house. But we're well over halfway now. Um, I'm currently twenty two weeks pregnant, so we're over the halfway period. We still got quite a while to go yet, but. It's creeping up. Before you know it, I'll have like 10 weeks left and we'll be like, baby's almost here. Mm. So, I don't know which one to open first. First off, we've got this on Mamas and Papas. Um, it is now, right? I don't know if this is correct. I don't know whether it's Stokey or Stocky or Stocker. Or Stoker. Or Stoker. Because <laughs> it's the, it's the, it's the, ah. It's making me think that it's not that because it's ending it K E Stokey. Yeah. I've always I've always, from as long as I can remember, seeing this brand come out, I've always called it Stokey. Now I don't think that's right because a lot of people I've heard have said it other ways. Mm -hmm. They've said Stoker or Stoker. So I don't even know how it's pronounced, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. We've got four items. Three of them are Stokey, as I'm going to call it, and one of them's like it goes with a Stokey product. So, I'll start with this box here first. You're actually going to unbox this, okay? Yeah, so it's probably going to want to see. Really? Yes. Yeah, I watch unboxing videos of, of <laughs> Puss Jam all the time. I know it's probably right because I'm pregnant. Actually, no. I did it before I was pregnant. I've got like, a mad thing about Puss Jam. I always have. Haven't I? Yeah. Always. Right, this is the car chair. Uh, it is the Stokey IZI Go. And this is what it looks like, and it is grey. We've gone for a dark grey colour throughout the whole push chair. Because I think. Did we buy this pusher before we knew it was a boy? We did, didn't we? Did yeah, we? yeah. We brought this pusher before we knew what we was having, boy or girl. And I, I, this is my, the best, I think this is the best colour anyway. And I think this is a very neutral boy or girl colour. So it's got like all these safety clips that go on there. And it's got this lovely insert and headrest. 
This looks so comfortable. I feel super jealous that I can't get in there. How comfortable does that look? Yeah. So jumping. comfortable. I feel like getting one of Sarai's dollies and putting it in there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the, um, the car seat. The compartments do come out for obviously as the baby gets bigger. It's not going to be in this small part the whole time. And obviously you can adjust a lot of stuff. I think this actually does come off and you can wash it. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think you can actually buy different colours. So if you wanted to change it and you didn't like the colour after a while, you could do that. Now, it's the first time I've ever used one of these car chairs. Never had one of these before. We always had the maxi car seat, Yeah. The maxi car seat, car seat. So this has a really big hood. That's one thing that I really loved about it. It's a really big hood that comes quite far down so literally you're literally covering the baby's face away from any sun or wind or anything if you're bringing it in and out the car so yeah and it's got like a don't think you're to see but like a clear mesh there for an air vent so yeah happy with that that's the car seat so off camera i unbox the um the, i think they're called iso fix or be safe base or something like that i don't know it's some sort of um basically it goes in the car clips in if you've got iso fix it clips in there and there into the chair and then there's this thing that comes out and that touches the floor on the in the car and it can adjust lengths depending on what kind of car you have and all that jazz and literally it is the most Simplest thing to work with a car chair and it's the first time we've had one with all the other kids We used to have to put the seatbelt round and seatbelt out and round all the time every time we was putting them in the car But with this one you simply That clip it in and it's on that turns green to tell you that it's clipped in and you cannot Get this car seat off this base. So that's it and then to get it out, I know if you might have to hunt because I've got the camera. Oh, I've Yes, you do. Jeez. Just press the button. Well, how'd you do it? Just press it up. <laughs> <laughs> Turns red. And the car seat comes straight off. So it's literally, it's so simple. And it's super heavy. So always when something's heavy, you always feel like it's worth the money. Because yeah. these are, um, this base costs more than the actual car seat itself. They're really expensive, but I think they're a really good thing to have. They're a very convenient thing to have. So yeah, really happy with that. So now we're gonna switch over to this big box here, which holds the push chair. And there's a picture of what it should look like. When I take it out of the box and put it all together, I will show you guys the finished product. Cause I don't know, don't know how long it's gonna take me to put it together, or should I say us to put it together. So we're not gonna do that on camera and then we'll show you what it looks like after. So yeah, catch you in a bit. So I just got it out of the box, so I thought I'd quickly show you. This is the chassis, the seat, the hood, the foot bar for the chassis and an umbrella. We have the, it, it, was, it wasn't out in store yet. The, this is why the reason why we had to like wait a little bit was because we've got a new black black chassis chassis i'm saying chassis like it's a car <laughs> what was it what would it be then it would be a black frame and it's got shiny wheels so the black one is their new model usually it's silver so um they've not long brought this out i think it was brought out a couple of weeks ago or probably like a couple of months ago but they didn't have it in the store straight away so yeah, I'm gonna put it together. So it looks like it actually looks like <laughs> looks like a golf golf carrier. Just looking at it like this, it looks like it carries golf clubs. Like yeah. But anyhow, let's get this together. So after what? Not even long, 15 minutes max. The push chair is complete. There we go. This is what it looks like, all ready to go. We've got the bag at the bottom. The push there can go front facing or rear facing. It's rear facing at the moment. 
comes with an umbrella, which obviously we don't need until summer. But I thought I'd put it on anyway, just so you could see. Until summer? Summer? To block the sun? You block the rain? A rain cover? An umbrella don't block the rain for a baby. Does it mean? No, it's for the sun. Why is it called? Why is it? I don't get it. <laughs> it's a parasol. Oh, so you said umbrella. Yeah, but it's a you know, same okay. thing. These guys knew what I meant, but you didn't. So, it's what it looks like. But the only thing about this posture is it don't close how, like most posters, you just press a button and it closes. There's like a couple of, a good couple of steps. This has to come off. The whole seat has to come off for you to close it. It doesn't take that long. It doesn't take long where you're like, oh. But it's pretty simple to clip back on and stuff. But the handlebars here, you can change the, the height on them where you want it. It's got a cup holder here. Thing is, I'm quite pleased actually with this new model because with the old one, you have to buy the attachment and then you have to get the cup separate. And I think with the attachment and the cup, it's like £28 just to hold a hot drink on the push chair. But this one comes with it. So that's pretty good. You can lower the handlebars by using this here. So if you're, I don't know, I don't know why you'd lower it. It's shorter, obviously. obviously. No, I know, but there's probably other reasons why you can lower it. Say, for instance, if you get on the bus, which we don't, you could put it like that so it's taking up so much less space now. So it's very, it's, it's high chair-esque, these push chairs are. So, if you go like for a meal and you didn't want to put your baby in a high chair, you could just take this off, sit the seat all the way forward, and then push it against the table. It doesn't take up that much space. Because it's quite small, the frame. And even in the shops, when you go shopping, it's not like a big bulky frame where you have to manoeuvre it. It's quite small and compact. But it's really nice and it's really sturdy. Feels really strong and nice. We've got some other stuff that go on top of the push chair. So we're going to unbox those and show you what they look like on. I'm going to show you what the car seat looks like on. So I'm just going to take this off, put the car seat on. I'll be back in a sec. And just like that, we are back. So this is what it looks like with the car seat on there. And I'm so glad that it doesn't take any different adapters. It just slots straight on. All the seats that go on the push chair just slot straight on because some push chairs you have to buy on a different adapter here for the car seats to fit on. But as this is stokey and the push chairs are stokey, it all just clips on nice. And I think it looks really, really nice with the car seat on there. I've got the handlebars really, really high. Don't need to be that high. But yeah, it's a really unusual looking push chair. They've been around for quite a long time though. Um, I know there was around when I was looking when Lorenzo was born and obviously he's eight so we're talking over nine probably ten plus years probably even longer um, but yeah I've always really wanted one but they are not the uh, most cheapest of push chairs so we thought being this is the last baby we'll splurge out a little bit and get what I've always wanted <laughs> so we're going to put the carry cup which was an additional extra which Nathan really wanted to get. I was like, mm, mm, it's all right, I don't really it's like it. Cold, until, exactly. until the lady told me, she said that they brought, not brought in, but there's this really like big thing about keeping babies flat for as long as possible. So they say up to like six months, try and keep the babies lying flat. So they can only be in a car seat for a maximum of 90 minutes because they're not flat. All right, they look awfully comfortable and snug as a bug in a rug, but it's not good for their spine, so, obviously, and their growth. Obviously, yeah, invited to advise. I think it's rubbish though, you know that, innit? Yeah. I, I, I tell you why I think it's rubbish. Because, yeah, we didn't follow them, them, them rules. Them no, things, I know, I know. I know, I know. So it's like, why now was it changing? Because one person had a problem or two Yeah, I know what you mean, but when you think, when you look at push chairs from back in the day, most of the push chairs were them silver cross silver ones cross, yeah. and they were flat yeah, they right. were quite like there was flat push chairs 
So I can understand that it's been around for quite a long time that you meant to keep the babies flat. And obviously as the push chairs come more jazzy and as we get more futuristic, all these new styles and whatnot come out and all these new fashion trends and whatnot. Um, like putting car seats on a push chair. Now, how long has that been going for? Really, yeah. realistically, hasn't been going for like a long, long time. Long enough, but not like, I can't remember push chairs without the car seats on because like, you can, Yeah. because you couldn't get them. So that's a new thing and everyone like, oh, it looks so cute, it looks so small, it looks so dainty. But obviously, leaving your child in the car seat is not the best thing. They always do say like, don't let your baby go to sleep in the car seat. Do you know when they're sleeping in the car and you go, don't want to wake him. So I'm going to bring him in the car seat and put the car seat down, keep him asleep as long as possible. Yeah. Obviously, that's not the best thing to do. I you take your baby like, out I and you put them down in their car. I know, but you so learn. You it's what I'm now? Yeah, it's and trial and error. We well, made mistakes with all the last kids. I know. So I know, I know, but twins. we don't know if that made any difference. Come on. We'll soon see. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see with this baby if he grows any taller. <laughs> no, I know, but you brought. Listen, know, right. Know, yeah. We're having this debate, and I'm getting hot because I'm really. I'm having hot flashes. And he was the one who wanted a bite. I was like, mm, I don't think I don't think it looks cute. See, I, I go for the cute factor, how nice it looks and how cute it looks. Whereas Nathan thought, I like it, so added extra, let's just get it. It does look nice though, to be honest. We'll see. We're gonna put it on and we'll show you. Let, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you think we should have got it, or if you think mm, it's not the cutest. So yeah, give me a second, I'll put it on. I'm officially absolutely KO'd. <sighs> the hassle, the fafaffle, fafaffle. Fluffle, whatever. This is what the car cut looks like, minus the hood because it doesn't come with a hood because you're meant to use the hood from the push chair part. But do you think I can get that hood off? From when I put it on, you cannot get it off. You can obviously get it off, but I can't. And I'm not going to about to be breaking this when I've just got it. So basically. This here is meant to come off this part. There probably is a way. I haven't read the instructions because the instructions are huge. I will do later to try and figure out how to get it off or I might just be lazy and buy another hood, which is probably looking like the best option. So this hood here comes off via here and here and it attaches to the caracat here and here then the buttons clip onto here and vice on that side as well so at the moment this is what it looks like obviously it's not going to look like this when it's properly done let's come this side because it does like fasten on a lot better and it has the hood and everything but at the moment it just looks like a a basket like a shopping trolley <laughs> but yeah it comes with like a insert here which you can change and clean it's pretty basic to be honest it does come with handles on either side like that so if you want to carry the baby in from the Cause do you know what? You take this with you in the car, it's quite big, so you'd have to fill it in the boot somewhere. But you wouldn't, I don't know. It's, a, it's, it's not the smallest of accessories. It's quite big and quite bulky. Whereas this, you can take the this part off and this part off. And even if you wanted to the hood to make it fit into the car. Whereas this, it's quite big. So I think this is more for like, if you come out of your house and you're going for a walk or you're going to the park or you're going to the shops, this would be suited because you wouldn't have to take it out and put it in the car. But obviously if you've got a big enough car and you've got more space, so if it's just me, so if it's just me, Nathan and the baby going to town, that would be fine because we could put this in the back seat um, and the pusher in the boot, which is no problem because we have a seven seater, so we have the space. But if you've got a small car, all the, all the chairs off in the boot, like, like our car. Yeah, I know. But have you got? Because our boot's small. Yeah, our boot's small-ish. 
with the seven seats up. If you put the seats down, obviously it's huge. But what I'm saying is if you've got a small car, say for the Honda Civic, for instance, and you had other children with you, yeah. it'd be a bit of a nightmare. It wouldn't fit. Wouldn't fit at all. So if we had all the kids in the car and the baby, this fit. wouldn't fit. Then again, do you know what? It's squeezy. When we've sorted, well, the car is going to be balanced properly cleaned out it needs a good clean out it's got grass mud you name it from football um loads of rubbish in the back of the car just needs a good clean we'll trial it and see how much stuff we can get in the boot with the push sharing just so for so we know like a little experiment call it experiment let's see how much of the stoky products we can get in the car at once i think it's a good idea give it a go it's all right yeah let's just see if it fails or not, which I'm pretty confident it will fail. But um, yeah, we'll see how much we can get in the car. With and without the kids. So we know. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's literally just like a Moses basket, if anything. You can say. Just like a Moses basket on the push chair. So guys, you have just seen me put together the push chair and show you all the bits and bobs that come along with it. I've just stuck it in the background. <laughs> Because I think it looks nice, nice background jappy. So, I did not realise how much stuff we have actually brought for this baby until I just went and collected it all. I thought we only had like a small amount of stuff. But yeah, I'm going to show you the amount of stuff. I'm going to start off with the first bag that I grabbed, which is a Smith's bag. We went to Smith's about four days ago for the kids to pick up just a treat. They just picked up a toy each. Um... And I thought, do you know what? Everyone's getting toys. I know he's not here yet, but some of those toys you can get from there are for babies, newborn, zero plus. So we picked up one of these. The twins had one each when they was a baby. My auntie May brought the twins a pink one and a gold bangle uh, when they was born. And I love this. Nathan loves this. It sounds so nice it sings a little lullaby and the belly lights up it's called a glow worm i think a glow seahorse soothe and glow seahorse and he sings little songs and he's so cute and it was reduced from 17 pounds can't see because little focus little focus focus from 17 pounds to 12.99 so that was a bargain so we picked that up we also got this uh tommy is it a firefly freddy the firefly and that's from zero months upwards that's just gonna hang on either the car seat or the push chair um just for the color i know baby seat in black and white for the first so many weeks or months um, so it does have some black and white colours on the back. Um, but yeah, all different sounds, mirror, and that was 12 99 We also got a doggy, different coloured dog that has just like different materials on it. And that's for zero months as well, and that was 7 99 And then, last but not least, my favourite. I love this, I don't know why. <laughs> but I really do love this. It's a Fisher Price, like three peas in a pod, and it just looks so cute. And the little balls pop out, and I just think it's so cute and so different. And all the balls have different stuff in them, do different things. And yeah, this is my favourite. And this was twelve ninety nine, and obviously it's zero plus. Also, so that's a couple of toys. And I, do you know what, when Lorenzo, all the twins, I don't think we got any toys before they were born, I'm not sure. I think we got all that stuff after, because it's not something that you go and go, oh, I'm going to go buy the baby some toys, even though he's not here yet. But hey-ho, that's what we got. And then we went to Warsaw one day, we went to go get something to eat. And we went into Mother Care with the kids and went into Next. And when I mean the kids were going mad for picking up things, 
they were like, let's get this and this and this and this. Soraya literally went into freak mode. She was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Baby clothes everywhere. She was like obsessed. Um, so Lorenzo and the dad snuck off somewhere. And when I went to go and pay, they were looking at this rack. And it had all these cute, like, um, what are they called? Three piece infant sets. So it has like the booties in there. It has a hat there and it has a bodysuit vest here. Tells you what you get on the back. This is just a black and white one. This is a Nike one. And this is zero to six months and it was 20 pounds. So I think for the whole set that you get, it's quite a good price considering it's Nike. Um, I don't know, obviously, like what you'd compare it with some tracksuit bottoms and maybe a jacket or if you're just around the house and it's warm, you could just stick them in that. I've seen people do it before, so yeah. And then they've also got a Converse one, and that comes with exactly the same. The boots, the cap, and the bodysuit. And uh, this is a blue and red one. And this was also £20, and this is also zero to six months. So that's quite cute as well. And then they picked up another one, like we didn't need any more. And it's exactly the same as the first one, just in the opposite colour, where it's all black with white. And that has the socks, the hat, and the bodysuit, and was the same price, £20. And then they also picked up these little booties. Um, these are £10 and these are zero to six months as well. A red pair there and a white pair there. Just little Converse All Stars. And couldn't go and get all that stuff without getting the Nike ones as well. So these are blue and red Nike little booties. And these are £10 and these are zero to six months as well. So they picked those up, as you can tell, that is like a boy manly thing to pick up. Um, I just picked up some short sleeve bodysuits because I don't think you can ever have too many bodysuits. These are just uh, white and blue um, they have some lines on them. Um, you get seven in a pack and these were £11 and it's New Baby. So I think New Baby is £7.5 for weight. So yeah, but they say that, but I know obviously an eight, ba eight pound baby could easily fit into these. Um, so I just got those. Also picked up these cute little, I want to say leggings, but they're not leggings, are they? They're like little trousers with feet. And these were eight pounds for two. And these are my first brand at Mother Care. So those are those. And they also come with... A little vest that you can buy as well. I don't know if you can see that. It says mommy and daddy. Mommy and daddy's little cutie. And it has three little ducks there. And that was £5. And that obviously matches with these little bottoms. Because these have a little duck on there. Just the little detail. And these are all like uh, neutral colours. Even though we know that we're having a boy. And we knew we were having a boy then. We still got neutral colours because it still looks really nice. And this is just a lovely, thick, woolly cardigan. I think it's reversible. Um, actually, no, it is reversible because it has no label on the inside of the back. Um, and this is just a cardigan, and this was £14. And it's, like, it's quite heavy. <laughs> it's quite heavy for a cardigan. Because, um, obviously, it's going to be born in January. It's going to be cold. So, cardigans are a must. Also, a couple of more body suits that go with them little leggings that I showed you I think this is a free pack that I've just showed you it's 13 pounds and you get three you get this one white one uh, this beige you one and then this one with little sheeps on it and they all have the like turnover ends uh, built-in mittens which I love because mittens just come off so easy and then I picked this up and I was like, oh my God, i got to get it. Lorenzo was like, you got to get it. Look how cute this is. Batman. <laughs> a tiny little Batman outfit. And this said it was £10 on the label. And when I got to the till, it was £5. It was half price. So that was a bargain. And this is up to one month. All the clothes that I got are either newborn or up to one month. Because... I don't really like getting stuff that's like for when it gets a bit bigger because I'll buy it when it gets a bit bigger because obviously new stuff come out and you don't really want to have too much of like last year's stuff. 
um, for like when he gets older for next year. So that's those. Uh, next, I'm gonna try and do this a little bit quicker because there's quite a few stuff. We have some bibs, some cute little bibs, and they match some outfits. Hugs for mummy and giggles for daddy. Uh, they're quite cute. Matching hats that have the same logos on. Um, these are five pounds. These are four pounds. These are all from Next, and they're online at the moment. So if you're looking out for any of this stuff, go and check it out. It'll be on there. We have a pack of three bodysuits, and these are all first size, sixteen pound for three, and they just feel so lovely, so nice. They all have the turnover mittens that are built in uh, a star one there i love this star one i think it's so cute they look so small it's unbelievable and a blue striped one there pack of three i loved 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 this blanket and i put it down picked it up put it down picked it up and i was like Do you know what i've got to buy it it just feels amazing it's black and white stripes with a like a blue um panel at the bottom i think it was 20 20 pounds and it's really really heavy so like in the push chair this would be nice or like in the carts at the bottom would be nice and then we got the baby grows to match the mummy and daddy bibs and hats seven pounds each that's the daddy one giggles for daddy in blue and this is the hugs for mummy one in white with blue writing they were both like i say seven pounds each then i got another Free pack, first size, £16 again, like a little camo colour, and it's so cute, and they're so small. And then this little car one, which is green and grey, and then another one, which is just like a darky, kind of like hard to explain the colour of this. It's like a dark greeny blue, the blue colour, and it says mini and awesome and last but not least another pack of baby grows a two pack another i love my mummy and i think the other one says love my daddy bear which is pretty cute these are all these are up to one month size so that's what we got from next and then we got loads of stuff from mother care this is all just neutral stuff before we found out what it was having. This is when we got the push chair. We purchased some clothes. This is like a, a snow suit. This is from Mother Care. And this was £45. And this is newborn, up to £10. Um, it's got the built-in mittens. And I just fell in love with it as soon as I seen it. So we had to have it. Some vests. A little knitted all-in-one with no hands and no feet. So that's so cute. Um, we got a little bear, actually we got three bears, so I picked these, we have a bear bear, an Ellie bear, no an Ellie bear, and a rabbit bear, <laughs> and they're all neutral colours and they're really cute, and they all jingle and make a noise, uh, we have another baby grow, in a neutral colour, and we have a vest, in a neutral colour, and it says hello world which is so cute some little trousers with little rabbits on or foxes and some more bibs just some hello world bibs and a zipped onesie and i think these zipped one onesies are amazing because you have to faff around with buttons put those all back in the bag and then on our second trip to mother care where we knew we was having a boy we got some blue all-in-one onesies and I think this is my favourite one. I absolutely love the colouring on this. It's so adorable. These are all still in store because these were all brought within the last two weeks. This was £19 and we also have one with like little buses and cars on and that was £14 and they are adorable and some bibs to go with that and also a box with some socks how adorable 12 pounds for six five pairs uh of gray and cream socks last but not least uh bath 
This bath tells you the temperature and the weight of the baby every time you bath the baby, which I think is pretty cool. This was on offer. This was £45, reduced from £65. And this was from Mother Care. But they do have it elsewhere. It's called Aqua Scales. And that's what it, the brand looks like there. So if you want to check that out, just type it in online and you'll be able to find it anywhere and everywhere. And it has like an insert in for the baby there. And then when it gets a bit bigger, you can see, take this part out, sit it here. But yeah, this has been in the cupboard for ages so it's a little bit dusty and let's take it all out and give it a, a good wipe down so that is all the stuff that we have so far um there's a lot a lot from what i expected there to be like when i was carrying it down i was like oh my god there is loads um but yeah i don't think we need to really buy any more clothes for the baby now until he's born unless i see anything that's spectacular um probably just needs a couple of more hats um bibs because you can never have too much bibs and i think that is really it oh, nathan keeps wanting to buy like designer baby clothes and hello wanna come and say hello to everybody my youngest baby beating man say hello look say hello he's all hyped at the moment i think he knows that there's a baby coming or that there's something coming because he's been really lovely to me haven't you extra lovely he needs a bath though you stink you stink you stinky boy so yeah go to daddy call him call him babe call him beauty man nathan wants to buy designer baby clothes i think oh yeah they're cute and then you see the price you're like oh my god who is going to spend well obviously people do a hundred pounds on a like Armani baby grow, just one baby grow, and be like, yay, I got a bargain. <laughs> the baby will grow out in literally a couple of weeks. Probably won't wear it as often as you think because you're gonna be like, oh, her make sure he's not sick on it or something stupid like that. And then it'll be outgrown and then it'll go to one side. We're not having any more kids, probably not giving it away. So there you go, like, you might just get a hundred pounds, just burn it. <laughs> But yeah, he wants to get all designer stuff and I'm like, mm. at first I was like, oh yeah, some stuff. Some stuff's are really cute. But now I'm like, mm. the amount of stuff you could get with that money would be ridiculous. So yeah, um, literally one of them bags, I think the, say for instance, the next stuff, all that stuff that I got from next would have been just over £100. So all that stuff that I showed you with the blanket and all of the, the baby grows and all that stuff would be the same as having one baby grow so yeah we don't need to be buy any more do we beans no more all we need to get is the cot the crib um like the sterilizers the bottles I'm trying to think what else was top of my head my mind has gone blank um little things like thermometers and towels and more blankets and swaddlers and what else I'm trying to think? Nappies and wipes. Like nappies and wipes. But I'm sure when I have my baby shower, I'm going to get loads of nappies. Do you know what? That's what I'm going to just ask for. I don't want anyone to get any clothes or anything. So I don't have to go, oh yeah, this is cute. But we love looking at my side. Oh my God, I'm not putting my child in this. I'm only joking. <laughs> but it does happen. I've seen people at baby showers go, oh look. And it's the most ugliest piece of clothes. And I know they're thinking the same thing, but they're too polite to say, oh, and they're thinking, I hope you put the receipt in the bag so I can take it back. You're paying high five. Um, but yeah, so all I'm going to request is just nappies and wipes. So we'll have an abundance amount of those. Um, but that's it. Other than that, I don't think we need to get anything. Like bottles and stuff like that. But yeah, I think literally we're almost kind of good to go in a sense. Just them big things that I've mentioned. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a bit of one, well, a bit of, it's been a different video. It's not your typical meet the greers um daily vlog or whatnot because it's just been me talking about all baby stuff um but it's not going to happen every week or every month because i won't need to show you anything else until we get like big things but yeah um just a little bit of a different switch it up because i know some of you guys want to know what we got or like to see what we've got so yeah that's for you out there so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment below we still need baby names 
We haven't decided on a baby name yet. Nathan's got a couple of names in mind and I'm like, yeah. I'm not gonna tell you what they are because we'll wait and see because you never know, it could eventually be his name. But if you've got any ideas of names or recommendations of names or middle names or anything like that, please, please, please let us know in the comments below. And if you think of, if you've seen someone else's comment and you think it's a good comment and it's a good name, just give it a like and then we'll be able to see what you guys are liking out there. And also, I know it's a bit early, but I might as well put it in here right now. We're gonna do a guess the weight. Guess the weight of the baby. And for the, well, we're gonna go through it and we're gonna see the comments because I think you can go through. Can you put like a specific? Yeah. We're gonna, you can type in a specific like number and people who have put it in the comment section will come up. And the people who guessed it first, the first five people, we will send out a gift voucher or a gift card. You can pick which gift card you want and we'll send that out to you guys. So the first five people who guess the correct weight of the baby when he's born in January. So it's quite a while to go yet, but I'll put it in there now. If you guess the correct weight, the first five people will get a gift voucher sent to them in the post. So yeah, and that'll be a present from little man here to you guys. So get thinking. I'm going to give you a little bit of a little bit of help. Romello was seven seven pounds thirteen when he was born. Lorenzo was seven pounds one when he was born. The twins were born four weeks early, but they were four seven and four nine. Now I don't know if that helps, but I'm just putting it out there because I don't really have babies that are over eight pounds or anything like that. So somewhere, somewhere in the seven pounds to seven plus pounds. And we're going to be going on the ounces, so pounds and ounces. So if you put seven pounds four, and he's seven pounds four, then you're correct. But if you put it early enough, then you'll get the voucher. If you put it too far down the line, and there was five people in front of you, then unlucky, you won't get the voucher. But well done for guessing the correct weight. So that's how we're going to go, and that's how we're going to call it. Yeah, you think that's right? Yeah. Do that. So yeah, it's going to be seven pounds plus the ounce. Unless he's just seven pounds or eight pounds, bang on, which I don't think will happen, but yeah. Um, anyways, I've tried to end this video like three times and I keep rambling and rambling and rambling, but I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a bit different, like I've said already, but yeah, we'll catch you guys very soon on a normal Meet the Greers vlog, which will be just us, me and Nathan, probably eating as usual. Beans? What's the matter? What's the matter? <laughs> he tries to kick down the door and go through the glass and he knows he can't do it. What's the matter? Right, I'm going to let him out in the garden because I think he needs a wee. We'll catch you guys very soon. Bye!